Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to another old school video. So I'm starting this off by working on recipe for disaster and I only need four more quest points now that I completed Olaf's quest. Extremely easy. And I also have access to brine rats now. Not really that I'm going to use that, but hey, it's something unlocked. And as I said, only four more quest points and then I can actually do the recipe for disaster. Second quest, I can't believe I haven't completed this yet. A soul's bane, obviously extremely easy quest. The quest rewards are very low because it's a low tier quest. But it's another quest point, so only three more. Another quest point from Rag and Bone Man. I only need uh, two more quest points, so maybe I can find a quest that gives two quest points now. So my last quest is going to be Corsair's Curse. It, it was a very easy quest, it's a free to play quest and it gives two quest points, so there we go. I have now completed the Corsair Curse and I can do Recipe for Disaster. So let's finally get those Barrow's Gloves. Okay, so first part completed. The first steps I'm going to do is very easy, but there you go. One quest point and the chef part is completed. So now I can open this door right here. And uh, also the chest, bank chest just below me has been enabled. So I can use that now. And uh, yeah, this is the beginning of the long quest. First part I decided to do was the dwarf one. Also extremely easy, just a lot of talking and stuff, but very easy. There you go, one quest point and another one down for the recipe for disaster. And third one is going to be the goblin one. Quite a decent amount of experience there in pretty good skills, farming, cooking and crafting. Fourth one, which is going to be Pirate Pete, which was a bit more annoying, but hey, still not too bad. 1k cooking, fishing, smithing and crafting. Pretty nice. Okay, fifth part, which is the ogre. Here we go. Let's turn that in and get another quest point and 1.5k cooking, woodcutting range and crafting experience. Getting closer to the end, this is going to be Sir Amic Vars part and uh, that's 4k cooking and 4k hit point experience, another quest point, only 3 more to go. Actually for this next part I had to get 70 cooking, you could boost it with spices and stuff like that from lower levels but I was 62 and getting to 70 with cooking is so fast anyways I just uh, did it real quick. So there we go, I can do the next part. Okay here we go, this is the monkey part completed. And uh, I'm going to get 10,000 agility and 10,000 cooking. That might actually have given me an agility level. Yeah, it did. 63 agility. That's really cool. So this one was a bit easier than the monkey part. It was only to make a cake and it was for the Lumbridge guide. So here we go. This is uh, another one completed. Only evil Dave left. The evil Dave part was such a struggle because I only had a kitten and uh, chasing the vermin for the spices took a very long time. But anyways, it is done now and I only spent like one hour, I think, catching it with a kitten. Could have been like 10 minutes with a cat, but... Hey, what can you do? But that is all the parts completed for Recipe for Disaster. And I can now go and fight the Colinomancer, which is going to be quite interesting. I did this on RS3 quite a long time ago, like three and a half years ago, maybe more than that. So I don't actually remember and it is probably different on old school as well. Uh, that was uh, not very hard actually at all. It was easy. It was only one of them that was uh, slightly annoying, which was... Uh, one that casts uh, Ice Brush and you have to just throw fire spells at him. Uh, that was quite annoying. But this last boss was extremely easy. The other ones was also pretty easy. And uh, that is the recipe for disaster completed. One quest point and 20,000 experience lamp, which I will definitely put in agility. Such an annoying skill. Will I get a level for that? I actually don't think so. Nope, I didn't get a level for it. But holy hell, that is a great quest completed. And now I can buy the Barrow's Gloves for 130,000 coins. These are vastly better than the Void Gloves. So I'm going to unequip everything real quick here. And I'm going to compare them. So look at this. The Void Gloves gives zero melee strength. It gives like 6 in all the defensive bonuses. This one gives 12 in pretty much all of them. And it gives 12 plus melee strength. That is insanely good for melee. So from Slayer I pretty much only get hard clues or elite clues, I don't really get many mediums. So I actually got an advice in my last video to try buy some eclectic implings for medium clues, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So hopefully I will get quite a decent amount of medium clues, statistically I should get 10. I'm just going to do all these 250 implings and the amounts of clue scrolls that I get from it I will complete and then have the casket in the next clip. 
So I didn't get 10 caskets, but I was very close, I got 9, so we have 9 of them to open, and uh, there is always the chance of getting ranger boots or something like that, which is insane amounts of money, it's like 20 million last time I checked, but I haven't checked in a while, so it could be lower. Anyways, I'm going to have the game chat open here, and let's uh, get opening. So the first one is going to be 35k, just a page, second one, nothing really, 14k. 28k, but that is a trimmed item. This is going to make it look a bit more smoother in the clue tab. And 6k, that is terrible. I'm only down 15 medium, that is very low. 26k, a war blessing. 25k, just some teleports, I guess. 7k, oof, that is not good. 7.9k, okay. And the last one, then after that, let's do a price check. 28k. Oh, that is too unique, though. Unfortunately, not worth a lot, though. Oh, I I have to drop something. Let's just drop uh, this one and pick this up for now. Okay, so the total value of 9 mediums was 179k. Or always body price, 93k. Yeah, I lost like 600 or 700k uh, from buying the implings. But hey, it's good fun, so I'm probably going to do it again in the future. You never know, you can always get the ranger boots if you're lucky. I haven't actually done Conor Slayer in quite a while, and I got a lot of brimstone keys already from only half this task pretty much, or two-thirds of the task pretty much. Uh, so I'm actually going to do Conor Slayer for quite a while, and I will collect keys. And I will get back to you guys with probably both caskets of clue scrolls that I've got. And also quite a decent amount of brimstone keys to open. So it's going to be even more interesting loot probably incoming. Hopefully I can get some mystic pieces of the uh, brimstone key ones. And I think they're called dark mystic or something like that. They're not actually worth a lot but they look pretty cool. And they're actually a bit too rare for the amount of money they're worth. So I'm actually on my first Drake's task, and it really is a bad task. I would advise everyone to skip this. But I got 87 attack on this task, and that means 110 combat. So only 16 more levels onto max combat, which is really nice. And uh, I am really lucky with Brimstone Keys, by the way. I have 9 in 3 tasks. Okay, so I currently have a total of 13 Brimstone Keys and 3 hard caskets to open. So I'm going to start off with the Brimstone Keys. So I'm going to go through these pretty quickly, so let's just spam the unlock one, 135k, 3 magic seed, gold ore, uh, 3 palm tree seeds, some coal, dragon arrow tips, pretty good loots actually so far, that one was pretty bad, the roomful hems are not very good, I don't think the redwood tree seeds are good either, but the other loots are pretty good, diamonds is pretty good as well, some magic logs, and no dark mystic, but this is quite a lot of money, this is worth... 1.3 mil or 1.4 million I got confused with the 300k right here this one is bugged by the way because it shows the diamonds as zero it does that sometimes i don't know why and now for the caskets three hard caskets i really want to get elite clues but i just can't get them maybe i should actually do some barrels to maybe get some good money from that and also have the pretty good chance of getting elite clue scrolls it's like one in 30 or something per chest so it's actually a pretty good chance so let's get these open anyways first one 58k Second one, 266k, a really good page, I'm really happy with that, and the last one, 72k, so pretty average ones, I guess, uh, but this one is uh, not a unique page, I already had it, but it's pretty good value. It's been a while since I actually did barrows, but I'm doing it for elite clues now, let's see what the first, ooh, <laughs> Varex Helm on the first loot, how much is that? Roughly 200k chest for the first one, that is not bad. Can we be uh, lucky with back-to-back -back item? No, we cannot. Third chest, I can do like three kills per trip, I think. And oh, already an elite clue. That was so fast. Okay, so let's get into it. It's always scary to get a Sherlock step because I don't really have the highest in all the skills and so on. So let's see what this is. Fix a magical lamp in Dorgish Khan. Let's see what that is. So I did actually have to complete a quest for this one. It was the death to the Dorgishan quest, but it wasn't actually that bad. So there we go. It's done. So I completed that step, but I actually got another one where I have to talk to Sherlock now, and I have to catch a black warlock. I think that's a butterfly in hunting. Yes, it actually was, so I had to get 45 hunter for this, but I was already 40, so there we go, 45 was very easy to get. So now this is a requirement, I have to go to the pirate's cove, which I can do if I get 60 mining and 61 crafting, so I need to get from 52 mining and 56 crafting, but I can definitely do that, shouldn't be too hard, so uh, let's get that done. 
There we go, 60 mining, and meanwhile I have been getting these mining levels, I've been getting some beginner clues from geodes, and I have 6 beginner caskets in the bank, so I'm going to open them right now real quick. Here we go, 6 beginner caskets, I really don't have big expectations for these, they can be worth like 10 GP sometimes, so it's pretty rough sometimes, but yeah, let's open these and see what we get. 36 coins, yeah, talking about low rewards, 3.7k, 224 164, 1.3k, and 1.5k. So 6 beginner clues gave me a total of 7k. And uh, it took me probably like a combined amount 25 minutes to do all these. So the money per hour is probably pretty shit from those. 61 uh, crafting incoming here and uh, that is going to be the last requirement to complete this elite clue step Then I should get the casket this step or the next one I think so let's get this step done Hopefully we can get the casket I actually got the reward on the step after but look at this I had to kill a rock crab for this and it just dropped the elite casket It looks kind of funny on the ground actually all right, so let's get this elite clue skull opened finally. Quite some requirements. I had to get 45 hunter, 60 mining, and 61 crafting. I think that is all of the requirements I had to get to complete this. So let's get let's get this open and see what we get. So what? 250k. Okay, the worth is actually not that bad, but I've actually never seen this. I got a whole crystal key in one clue. Let's see if this is a duplicate page, by the way. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Even more stuff to put into my tab that uh, doesn't stuck with other things. Uh, but yeah, that is actually not too bad, I guess. And that is going to do it for this episode. By the way, the total amount the clue tab is currently worth is 4 million, so we're getting some progress there. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and if you did, please leave a like. And I really do hope you guys enjoy the premise of this series, which is to get to 100 million in a clue tab. I really like the excitement of maybe this episode I'll get something like crazy that's going to raise the tab value by quite a lot, and then maybe some episodes we just have fun opening clue scrolls and maybe getting some PV loots along the way so anyways as i said i hope you guys did enjoy this and i'll see you in the next one guys take care